I know I say this a lot, but I'm in a lot of trouble. What would you do if you accidentally sent somebody to the hospital? The other day, we were working on making a chocolate hot tub out of Mr. Beast bars, but then my crazy neighbor destroyed it. I'm gonna help you get rid of this wonky Oh my God. He spent thousands of dollars on this. And then this happened. Oh, oh. But honestly, I think Karen, I mean Sharon, is faking her injury, so I'm visiting her at the hospital today to see how bad it really is. We're right outside Sharon's room. Brian's gonna go in and apologize for all the things he did wrong hurting her. I um, mean, we're gonna try to see if she's faking her injury, but we can't make her mad because we don't want her retaliating. First of all, it's not just my fault, but... Hello? Sharon? It's a really creepy hospital. Miss Sharon? Miss Sharon? Hello? We're here to give you flowers. Yeah. You're gone again? We're just here to Oh God, is there no peace for me? Oh, oh, oh. Are you, oh. Are you okay? Oh no, I am um, not okay. Wait, 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 wait. We just really wanted to come say we're sorry. We picked flowers for you. Yeah, well guess where these flowers are going. Ha <laughs> ha, you're crazy. It wasn't on purpose. You came onto our property and you slipped and fell. It's all- What? Look what you've done to me. I'm gonna be in here for a week! There's no way that slipping and falling a foot broke your neck and your head and your arm. There's no way you're this hurt. Oh! Yes! It's... Oh! Oh! My head! My splitting... Oh! And my arm! Oh! And the only thing that's gonna ever make me feel better is getting... Oh! Your money! Oh! Your money! You guys are... Done. We're not giving you anything. Can you please just relax? Nurse! Nurse! Go, 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 go. Nurse, get in here! Now I know what you're thinking. Why am I wasting my time on Sharon when Mr. Beast noticed us and is so close to putting me in one of his videos? Well, Sharon threatened to sue me, and if she could have it her way, I'd be in prison before I could get in one of Jimmy's videos. So I gotta take care of this problem now, because I wanna end up in one of Mr. Beast's videos, not in jail. And make sure you guys subscribe, because if I win one of his challenges, I'm splitting the money with you. Sharon is threatening to sue us, even though we don't think she's actually hurt. If she succeeds, we're gonna lose everything. The channel, the house, the YouTube videos, we'll never make it in a Mr. Beast video, and we'll never be able to split the winnings with all of our subscribers. So luckily, we have a plan B. My dad's a lawyer, and he specializes in claims of people faking in so that they can get money from their bosses or their companies or their neighbors. Anything. So we're gonna call Casey's dad right now and hopefully he can give us some A plus advice. Does he usually answer when you call? Hello? Hi. Hey dad, it's me. Um, just calling because we just had a, a really quick legal question. So say our neighbor trespassed onto our property and like if she like slipped and fell, she's claiming she's hurt really bad, but we think she's faking it. Um, so like what would you do in that situation? I would consider hiring a, a private investigator to follow her and potentially get a video doing things that are inconsistent with her disability claim. Okay. And our private investigators, are they like expensive generally? Yeah, have you hired them before? Um, yes, I've hired them. They are actually quite expensive. They charge by the hour. Okay, so if we like spent like all our money on like giant billboards and we're kind of like out of money, um, we could probably just like do that ourselves, right? We could probably just like follow her around and film her. No, absolutely not. That would be an invasion of privacy. So there's no world that we could break into her house legally to film her. That's a good idea. Well, breaking in is breaking in, whether you film it or not. So that is something that I would recommend it. you do. Uh, okay, yeah, it sounds good then. Yeah, we'll absolutely do just what you said. Uh, we'll break in and film that real quick and then yeah. we'll have a lot of good evidence. But um, yeah. I guess we gotta uh, go get uh, planning for that. So thanks so much and uh, I'll see you later. All right, Mr. Kreveling gave us- Esquire. Esquire. Mr. Kreveling Esquire gave us some amazing advice. So we're gonna prep, we're gonna go into her house tomorrow and film her and find the evidence we need to prove she's faking her injuries. Let's do it. We're outside of our crazy neighbor Sharon's house right now. We got word from the hospital that she was discharged this morning, so she could be home at any minute. Last time we were here, we had a terrible run-in with her husband, so I'm really, really nervous to be here. But if we don't get evidence that she's faking her injuries, we are completely done for. We did talk to our lawyer, and he really recommended that we don't film ourselves breaking into someone's house, so, uh, um... Uh, so, um, we're inside her house now. And it's 
really legal for us to be here. Yeah, I just really never took her as someone with so much personality. Like, look at this place. She must love the color orange. Yo, Casey, can you focus for a second? Let's spread out. We gotta find something that proves that she's not actually hurt, okay? Can you reach that? Now I'm not gonna open that just to spite you. For such a mean and vicious woman, like, it feels like a pretty nice house. It's obvious we're not gonna find anything in the kitchen. If we want evidence of her dastardly deeds, we need to find, like, a computer. Dude, she's ancient. You think she owns a computer? All right, well, she's not got a fax machine in the kitchen, so spread out. Find some other stuff. Watch out for security cameras. I think I just broke the door. I'm like 90% sure that any moment that guy's gonna come at me with a golf club, so I'm a little afraid. Casey really thinks that she's gonna own a laptop? Do you know what those are? Those are cameras from before your phone existed. God, look at this injury faker. She makes me sick. There's so many actual injured people. She's right there. Okay. Back in the bathroom. Back in the bathroom. Go, 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 this go, bathroom? go, go, just go. Go, hey, hey. Go, 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 go. You gotta film, you gotta film her. You gotta film everything. Film. She's faking. Yeah, honey, I'm back. That Cabo vacation is looking better and better. We're gonna be out of that neighborhood. We're gonna take them for everything they got. And we're gonna be rid of those crappy neighbors forever. Oh yeah, baby. I'm feeling fine. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. She's faking everything. Yeah. She's faking the entire thing. The injury, the, 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 the neck, the head, everything, the broken arm. I knew it. She's faking all of it. She came over, she got herself hurt, and now she's gonna try to sue us for everything that we're worth. And yeah, she's gonna bankrupt us. We're gonna have to move out. We're gonna have to give up the challenge. All right, so what do we do, huh? This is what we do. We get a lawyer, we give him this footage, and then we have a lawyer. Hey, hey, bro, Ryan, come on, come on. Stop faking it. We have you on camera. You're not even hurt, okay? Wait a minute, what are you doing? Oh my god. Oh, 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 oh,
Bye. Bye, guys. Uh, and we'll be waiting to get